In this tutorial, we will go over some of the features you will encounter when searching in Google Scholar and PsycInfo. Before accessing any library resource from off campus, remember to sign in using your Odin account. To access Google Scholar, select the link under the Research Tools and Collections tab on the library homepage. Let's do a quick search for Rural Family Planning Access. Type those terms into the search box and run the search. There are four important features to note about Google Scholar. The first is the Find It at PSU link. You will only see this link if you access Google Scholar from the library homepage, and selecting this link will bring you back to the library catalog to see if we have access to the article. Use this link or the direct PDF or HTML link instead of clicking on the title of the article to avoid running into a paywall. The next feature is the automatic citation generator. Select the quotation marks under the article record to show automatically produced citations in a large number of styles. Always remember to check your citations before submitting them. Thirdly, there is a link called Related Articles. Select this link to see a list that Google thinks are articles related to the initial one you have deemed on topic for your research. And finally, the Cited By link. Selecting this link will create a list of all the resources that the Google bots can find that have cited the original article. The last two links or lists can be particularly important as a means of broadening your research techniques. PsycInfo also has some of these tools, so let's do the same search in PsycInfo. Access PsycInfo either by selecting the Databases and Articles button and scrolling through the title list, or from within your course guide. With PsycInfo, it's a good idea to break up search terms rather than search them as a string. So type in Rural into the first search box and then Family Planning Access in the second and run the search. The results list will be significantly smaller than the one generated by Google Scholar because PsycInfo only searches a specifically curated set of resources. PsycInfo also has a number of different limiters and filters you can use to narrow your search. Of particular interest may be age group and methodology. PsycInfo has some of the same features as Google Scholar, though they are found in different places. If an article has been cited by a resource in PsycInfo or another ProQuest database, a cited by link to those resources will appear in the brief record. To see the other tools, select the title of the article and go into the record. If the full text is available through a ProQuest database, there will be a tab for References, which is a linked list of all the resources that the article references. If the full text of the article is not available through PsycInfo or another ProQuest database, there will not be a list of references, and you will need to select the Find It at PSU link to return to the library catalog to see the online access options. If the article has been cited by another resource, a link to that list will appear on the right-hand side of the page, as well as a Documents with Shared References link that can really expand your research by looking at common references surrounding a topic. To create an automatically produced citation, select the Cite link on the right-hand side of the page. Always remember, though, to check the citation before turning it in. And finally, there is a list of related items. It is important to use all these additional techniques to make sure you are expanding your research to access resources a keyword search may have missed. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.